Hello everyone, today we will discuss straddling technique used in retinoscopy. This technique is used to confirm the axis of cylinder after you have performed retinoscopy. For example, you have performed the retinoscopy and uh, your findings are plus 1 sphere with minus 3 cylinder at the axis of 125. Now you want to verify that whether 125 are correct axis or not. So to verify it, you will use the straddling technique. According to this technique, first you will place the prescription in trial frame, which in this case is plus one sphere with minus three cylinder at 125. And then you will rotate the streak of retinoscope to 45 degrees on both side of cylindrical axis, which in our example is 125. So when I go 45 degrees on this side I will get the axis 80 and when I go 45 degrees on this side I will get the axis 170. Now I will compare the width of reflex of retinoscope at axis 80 degree and 170 degree. If the width is same it means that axes are correct which axis 125 axis which we have found out by doing retinoscopy but if width is different it means that 125 axis of the cylinder are not correct in this case you have to move towards the streak which is narrow let's suppose uh, when I have compared 80 degree and 170 degree I have noticed that the thickness at 80 meridian is more than what it is at 170 it means that correct axis lies towards this side towards the side of 170 degree so in this case I will rotate the axis of cylinder towards this side now I will move uh, the cylinder to 130 degree and again perform straddling technique which in this case will be 175 on one side and 85 on the other side and again I will compare the thickness of uh, retinoscopic reflex at, at 85 and 175 if both uh, the retinoscopic reflex have same width it means that uh, 130 are the correct axis and if not uh, then I will again move towards the thinner reflex